In a shocking turn of events, the quiet town of Southport was rocked by a horrific attack that has left the community in mourning and a nation in disbelief. Today, we bring you the latest updates and background on the suspect behind this tragic incident. Stay with us as we delve into the details of the case that has everyone talking. Axel Rudikabana, a 17-year-old teenager, has been charged with the murder of three young girls and the attempted murder of 10 others during a Taylor Swift-themed dance class in Southport. Born to Rwandan parents in Cardiff in 2006, Axel moved to Banks in Lancashire in 2013. This heinous attack resulted in the tragic deaths of B.B. King, 6, Elsie Dot Stankump, 7, and Alice De Silva Adyar, 9. The assault also left eight other children, dance teacher Leanne Lucas, 35, and businessman John Hayes, severely injured. Initially, Axel's identity was protected due to his age. However, following a successful application by the male, Judge Andrew Minery KC ruled that his name could be revealed, balancing the public's right to know against potential risks to Axel and his family. This decision comes amidst the backdrop of misinformation and violent unrest spurred by false claims regarding Axel's background, which falsely suggested he was an asylum seeker. Axel appeared in court, his face hidden beneath a gray sweatshirt, showing visible signs of distress as he faced charges that have shaken the community. His trial is provisionally set for January 20th next year, where he will answer to the serious accusations against him. The attack has led to widespread rioting, with far-right groups exploiting the tragedy to incite violence, resulting in injuries to numerous police officers and significant property damage. The community's grief is palpable, and efforts are being made to restore peace and unity. Merseyside Police, along with other forces, are working tirelessly to maintain order and ensure justice is served. The response from political leaders has been strong, condemning the violence and calling for calm. The suspect's next court appearance is scheduled for October 25th for a plea and trial preparation hearing. Until then, he remains in youth detention, a stark reminder of the gravity of the situation and the lives forever changed by this tragedy. Thank you for joining us as we navigate through this heartbreaking and complex case. The events in Southport have left a deep scar, and the community's resilience will be crucial in the days to come. Stay tuned for further updates on this developing story, and let's come together to support those affected by this senseless act. Remember, amidst the chaos and grief, we must strive for justice and healing. Until next time, stay safe and take care.